Okay, welcome to Garage Mahal. Um, my oldest daughter is heading off to college, so this is kind of like the staging area for everything. So we're not as neat and orderly as we should be. But today I am going to be making basically stands, alignment stands for Garage Mahal. And the main core I'm going to use is two 4x4s and a bunch of two by fours there, and then some three quarter inch plywood. And I'll sketch up and I'll show you guys what it, I'm gonna be doing, but basically I started looking for used alignment stands that are about 24 inches off the ground, and they want 800 to $1,000 used. New ones are probably closer to about the 3,000 range. So, with my chop saw over there, I'm going to make some wooden stands, which there's been some controversy about through a couple of my buddies. But I looked up the, the strength of a 4x4, and a single 8-foot 4x4 by itself is capable of supporting 7,500 pounds. It was actually 7,400 and change, but we round off the 7,500 pounds. And that is just about some of the bigger vehicles that you're gonna run across. So anyway, I'm gonna use four. So we're gonna cut this down to 38 inches, which I found to be a comfortable height for doing uh, wheel alignments. And we are gonna go from there. So we're gonna be able to raise the vehicle up 38 inches. So on a little crawler stool, you'll be able to comfortably get underneath the front access to the outer tie rods to be able to adjust for your alignment and if you haven't seen my alignment video using the quick trick system and some laser levels I'll include that down in the links at the bottom and anyway let me get the materials together and we'll start cutting away okay so this is the design and basically Trying to make it in 3D as best as I could, but again, I'm not an artist, but that gives you a general idea. So it's going to be 24 inches long by 12 inches wide, and basically it's going to have five posts. The ends are going to be two by fours. Cut the 36 and a half inches with the plywood, which is going to be three quarters. Each is going to make a total height of 38 inches. And then that's kind of like the side view. So that's a 2x4s on either end. And then a 4x4 in the middle. And material wise, it's pretty simple. And I did this to make sure that it wasn't going to be totally complicated. So you need eight 2x4s because you're going to be basically cutting them down into 38 inch or 36 and a half inches on all four corners you're going to need two four by fours eight, eight foot long and then you're going to need one piece of three quarter inch plywood this stuff is on the heavy side so make sure you have somebody with you and then to make it pretty quick and easy i'm going to be using a handsaw and a Craig jig that I have cut, or actually marked to 12 inches or one foot, so I can make very symmetrical pieces going all the way across. I got the Craig pocket hole tool that we're gonna be setting up with the Craig clamp with the one and a quarter inch Craig screws to hold it all together. I know it sounds like a Craig commercial, but stuff is great drill Craig pocket tool drill bit as well as the driver and some uh some strong wood glue but again that's all you need and we're going to make four stands and this thing should be relatively inexpensive because um i mean i think the Craig stuff is going to cost you a couple bucks to get started, but it's not overall bad. And really, if you're any type of carpenter or mechanic, you should have that stuff around anyway. Um, but I got the 4x4s. They were basically 10 bucks each at Lowe's. 
and then uh, the two by fours, I got eight of them, and I think they're about four bucks each. The three quarter inch piece of plywood was 35 bucks, and then the Craig stuff I've had, but I bought them on Amazon. I'll put the links at the bottom, but I think I paid, I think this was like, I don't know, I think it was about $40 for this, not including the saw, obviously, but I'm telling you, you get spot on cuts with this. Besides, trying to put a 4x8 piece of plywood on a table saw is a little crazy. Screws, I think, were like 20 bucks. The Craig Pocket Tool, uh, this sucker was about $20. But I end up on my bench over here, I have the, the clamp version, which is absolutely awesome. But if you don't want to get that... This stuff will definitely get you by. And other than that, let me get started. I'm not going to, I believe I'm not going to show you the, the cutting of each process, but it's pretty self-explanatory. And besides, even if I did show you me cutting sawing pieces of plywood in half, I don't think it would be that, that crazy exciting. But basically with this Craig jig, I mean, you just line it up like that, and then you're making your your cuts, and you're going to need four one-foot cuts because that is 48 inches wide, 12 inches. So we're going to be basically cutting that in half with the saw. Actually, I'll probably use a table saw for that, so I got a pretty precise cut. But four pieces all cut in half that gives you eight pieces because it's going to be sandwiched in between so you have a piece of plywood up here a piece of plywood here at the bottom and you need four of these because you got four wheels obviously for your alignment stand but you basically you're making four quick cuts here and then you're going to cut all those in half so you're going to get your 48 inch span down to 24 so you're going to get your 48 inch span down to 24 inches when you cut it in half or rather it's going to be something like uh, so that's 48 inches right there but when you cut it you got the saw blade which is minor so it's going to be like something like 23 and 7 eighths across for each piece but close enough to 24 but you'll get the general idea when we go from there. <clears throat> and now let's move over to the the chop saw that we're going to be using to cut all the 4x4s and the 2x4s. And I kind of cheated ahead of time. So I measured out the stop plate at 36 and a half inches from the middle. So actually right where the blade sits. So it's gonna be 36 and a half inches. So I'll be able to cut everything in a uniform pattern. And other than that, assembly. And other than that, assembly should be pretty quick putting everything together. And I'll give you a general idea of how that goes. And other than that, that's it. Let's get started. Okay, so these are all your pieces basically cut up. I got some more on the other side of the shop. And now it's basically just a matter of putting everything together. And then this is your final step. You're putting a 12 inch two by four on the other side, screw it down, nail it down. I basically, I glued and nailed mine. I'll put a couple screws in it later, but that's gonna prevent the vehicle from rolling back and off the stand. But again, safety first, and you wanna absolutely positively make sure that you have your parking brake on and the parking brake is in working order before you attempt this. And also, you wanna make sure that you have it as square as you can underneath the wheel this one's a little off but you want to have it as square as possible and this is just for video purposes and 
there you have it and obviously you only put these two by fours this 12 inch piece you only use that on the back wheels because when you're doing your alignment you want it freestanding in the front anyway hopefully this is helpful and as always thanks for liking the video and subscribing be safe